Welcome back to Lawn Dude on Earth. Thank you for listening to the show today. Let's see what topic we get into after the intro. Welcome back to Lawn Dude on Earth. This um, podcast right here that I'm recording honestly should have went out early Wednesday morning and I had to think about how I wanted to uh, discuss this. So it's a lot going on right now, you know, in the in the world around us. I'm not going to get into politics. That's not what this podcast is for. Um, But I am going to get into the effects of everything all around us right now. Just you have the political climate, which we all can feel. Um, I try not to say um so much. But. I'm trying to find a way to basically voice what is on my mind without losing track of what I actually am trying to talk about here. So I'm just going to do the best I can right now to go ahead and just voice that. It is tough right now for the average person. And that's just the average person we're talking about. Now, if I add in, you know, once again, like I've said so many times, I can only speak as a husband, father, and a business owner. And to be completely honest with you, I can even add in African-American male to that. So, speaking on those terms... It is almost double as tough for a business owner, let alone a family man, you know, who has a wife and kids. It is a lot tougher just because of the way things are right now. For example, you can't go to the grocery stores nowadays without spending a couple hundred dollars. I remember, and don't get me wrong, I'm only 35 years old, but I still remember the times when we were able to go into the grocery store maybe with less than a hundred dollars and get a bunch of items. Those days are gone, long gone. I don't see us going back to those days. But I do remember those days and it just it stinks that we are in a time now where making what you what used to be a lot per year just isn't enough like making six figures nowadays isn't enough and i mean don't get me wrong You can get by with six figures nowadays. But it's almost impossible to be comfortable now with the way things are bill wise. It's just it's real unfortunate. That's the way it is. I feel like nowadays you have to really work around the clock. You have to have multiple jobs, multiple income, multiple streams of income just to get by. So it is crazy when I look around and see what is going on right now with everything. Uh, I don't put my faith in man. I put my faith in God. That's just what it is. Let me say that again for the people in the back. They're going to act like they did not hear what I just said. 
I do not put my faith in man. I put my faith in God. 100%. I will say that any day of the week and twice on Sundays. Best be twice on Sundays. So I say that before I sit here and say everybody's worried about what is going to happen with this election this year. But you know what, man? Once again, put my faith in God on that one. And don't get me wrong, we definitely feel the effects in the lawn and landscape industry. I don't know what it is about election years, but sales, they plummet every election year. That's just how it is. I guess people because they don't know who's going to be in office and everybody always runs differently, runs, you know, runs the office differently. So people just don't know what's going to happen. So they don't really want to spend money on lawn and landscape projects. And that's just a fact. That's how it's always been. So I can't even sit here and say that I am surprised at all by that, but it doesn't mean it's not frustrating. Part of me actually hoped that people got a wake-up call recently with the events that have happened to the point where it unites us. I actually remember when September 11th happened and all Americans were pretty much on a united front at that point in time. Everybody was treating each other like human beings. Everybody was treating each other with respect. Which, by the way, has gone out the window a long time ago. Now, I know everybody and a cousin wants to talk about the assassination attempt that just recently happened. But I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not about to sit here and do that. The only reason why is because people's lives, people attempt to take lives each and every day. And unfortunately, some people are successful with that. We need to put light on that, too. We're losing brothers and sisters each and every day. We need to pray for everyone. Not just those running for office, not just those in the limelight. I get it. That's a big deal. I'm not even trying to belittle that. I'm just saying we should be praying for everyone. We lose people every day to senseless violence. And when I say that... I also say that it is one of the toughest jobs out here today is being a parent. Being a parent or even being a teacher, educator in the system I got to be honest with you, man. I feel like they have two of the toughest jobs out there right now because as parents, man, we have to raise our kids in this world that I know when I was coming up, yeah, phones started to come around, but they weren't nowhere near where they are now. Having a phone is like having a computer in your hand. At school, they now have, like, laptops that they work off of and everything. That is insane. That is insane, man, because, like I just said, man, you are trying to raise your kids right. 
but they easily more easily influenced i feel like we ever were coming up just by having phones uh peer pressures to another level even bullying is to another level because now somebody could put, could post something on you know on whatever social media site that only kids are seeing and that's that so i'm telling you right now man if if, if this doesn't have you on your knees praying each and every night not only for everyone but especially for your kids i don't know what will because it is scary times when you look at how it is nowadays to raise a kid i'm not even gonna lie to you man that is something that i think about as a father the best way to raise my kids, the best way to provide an example each and every day, the best way to show how much I love my wife every day as much as I do my kids. So when my kids see us they see an example of love and then i feel like it is added i mean it's a whole added responsibility that has been put upon me to raise our kids with awareness on everything going on around them this isn't how it was man when we was coming up i mean again i'm 35 years old i was born in 89 man 1989 so i know i'm not all that old but i do remember when we were coming up man we used to be able to play in the neighborhood you didn't have to worry about a lot of things and nowadays man you don't even want your kid to go two doors down without you having some type of eye on them because of how things are now. It's just crazy, man. It's crazy. But I say all that to say... We can't be getting caught up in all the political things going on. We can't be getting caught up in the little petty stuff, man. I'm talking about stuff as petty as, oh, somebody done cut you off in traffic. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. If it is just me and they cut me off and I'm like, I'm way to a job site, whatever, whatever. I typically don't trip over that. Only time you can get a rise out of me from cutting me off in traffic is if I have my wife and kids in the vehicle. That's a whole nother level there. But even then, it depends on how badly you cut me off. So I say all that to say a lot of these situations just aren't worth it, man. It's just too much going on. And that's another example right there what has changed. Road rage is on a whole nother level now. How many times are we going to see a news report of somebody pulling out, you know, pulling out the heat over a doggone, a doggone lane change, you know, because the person wasn't paying attention. So somebody wants to pull out their gun. Somebody wants to pull out a weapon. Somebody wants to get out and punch the person in the face over an improper lane change, which had the time. It's an accident or because somebody's in a hurry. I'm going to say it again, man. These little petty things just aren't worth it. Not at all. Like, it's crazy how some people. Some people are willing to go to war over the smallest of things that just aren't that deep.
So like I said, I'm saying all this from the top of the dome right now. This was a podcast that was supposed to be released Wednesday morning. I started on it Tuesday night, real time. And I sat on it for a little while, started to record it, started getting sleepy, and just didn't know how to address all this because as you can hear from this one today, it is all over the place. Like, I am literally all over the place with this. It's just because there are so many ways I can address this. So many ways I like to get into it. And so many ways I'm trying not to get into it. Because once again, this is going to be a podcast where, I guess, for lack of a better word, this is going to be a safe space for anyone who ever comes on this podcast. You know, this is going to be a place where you can go ahead and vent, and it is what it is. But just, we got to get back to being respectful to each other. And all of us need to get back to praying together. To loving one another, helping one another, being there for one another. It's crazy. If you see somebody who is in distress nowadays, it's crazy how many people will look the other way like you didn't even see them. I remember coming up when anyone would help somebody in distress. Anyone. But those times have changed and it's been changed for a while. Everybody wants to associate this and that with whoever's in office and, you know, things were this when this person was in office, things were that when that person was in office. But you know what? None of that matters, man. We all have a choice as to how we do our basic task in life each and every day. We all have a choice. Just like we all have a choice as to whether or not, you know, we choose to worship God, whether we choose to praise God. It is my choice to do both of the following of what I just said. Just like now, we have a choice as to whether we're going to be part of the problem or part of the solution. I know for me, and I know for me personally, last thing I want to do with my kids is raise them in a world where we don't respect one another. You know what? I do my best. I do my doggone best each and every day to go ahead and show them the best example possible of respect. You know how many people I don't know that I run into and... I start a random conversation and treat them with respect. It's the way it should be, but it's not the way it is. So it is super frustrating seeing everything around us go the way it has. But I'm optimistic. Because we serve a Lord that I know will never leave us hanging. Will never put us in a situation that we cannot make it through. So that's that's all I feel like I'm going to get into today on this topic. I'm about to get off here. Hopefully get this uh, podcast up and ready for you guys for Thursday morning, um, to be honest with you, this is also a brand new podcast board and mic that I use for this podcast. I hope it sounds a lot better. I'm trying to get you guys some better audio, man. Trying to get you guys some better audio. But I'm going to take off. That's all I have on the subject. I feel like if I keep going, it'd be another three hours and I'm still going to be speaking on this. 
This isn't no wham, bam, thank you type of conversation. This is an actual conversation to be had. But y'all take it easy. Y'all stay prayed up. And y'all stay blessed. Peace. Thank you for listening to Lawn Dude on Earth. We talk about all kinds of things here. The good stuff, the tough stuff, and everything in between. If you like the show, please give us a five-star review. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, and have a blessed day.